Hello everyone and welcome to not one but two games uh, from yesterday's uh, uh, KD Filiches Arena. Uh, you guys requested a couple of games and I thought, uh, well, as Hikaru won the event, let's show uh, a, a win uh, or, or rather some nice games by Hikaru and who better than Hikaru against Magnus and Hikaru against Alireza because it's not uh, very often that we see them playing in, in, a, well, in the same tournament on the same platform. So the first one we're not going to analyze, we're just going to show it because it's too short uh, to, to be analyzed. It's against Magnus and Magnus of course uh, goes for the bong cloud. He went for the bong cloud uh, every game uh, in the second uh, half of the tournament. So uh, let's check it out and then uh, let's uh, enjoy the game against Alireza uh, as that one is a little bit longer. So here Magnus played f3. Uh, he go this is basically the, the Mr. Barnes opening but you have to go into this to, to play the bong cloud. You have to play f3 and then king to f2. So Hikaru grabs the center, very principle. d5, we have king f2, uh, the bong cloud is on the board even though this is still considered the barns actually uh, e5 uh, we have e3 knight to f6 and here d4 by magnus we have e captures on d4 uh, e captures on d4 and now bishop to d6 so if you can develop the king here will not be uh, all that all that bad a piece but for for bullet uh, it, it might be even even good so bishop to d3 hikaru castles we have knight to e2 and now c5 uh, attacking the center so c3 and hikaru uh, trades here we have captures captures and knight to c6 so nothing special happening here knight b to c3 and queen to b6 makes sense as the king is on f2 uh, you prevent white from developing the bishop you're also hitting the b2 pawn uh, and you're just threatening to capture this so knight to a4 uh, puts pressure on the queen, queen to a5 and now bishop to d2, developing while forcing the queen to move. Uh, bishop to b4, now Hikaru offers a trade of bishops and Magnus goes for it. Bishop captures, we have queen captures and a3 now, chases the queen back and now finally queen d2, developing the queen, connecting the rooks and that's... Um, uh, uh, that, that's okay. So rook to e8 and rook 8 to e1 and it seems that Magnus uh, uh, did everything that he needs. He's gonna play rook to f1. For the moment he can't. If he plays rook to f1 then he loses the h2 pawn so he still has to wait with this. Hikaru plays b6 and now comes knight a back to c3. Uh, we have bishop to d7 and knight to b5 now attacking the queen queen to b8 and here the position is even uh, slightly better for white but Magnus played queen to f4 uh, and it was uh, well in this position that Hikaru uh, won the game. Now, I'm sure you guys don't need to pause the video because you already see it so I'm just gonna give you a couple of seconds to you know fully experience it. Of course uh, Magnus offered a queen trade but Hikaru eliminated the defender of the queen with tempo and that's it. Here Magnus resigned that's that's the game. Of course, after the rook is captured, doesn't matter what you capture it with, uh, the queen will be eliminated, and that's it. So this is the only game Hikaru and Magnus played in the tournament, uh, which uh, is all I, I thought they, they'd play a lot more, because at some point I thought they will both be at the top, uh, and then they will uh, get paired um, uh, together all the time. But as Magnus was always trailing uh, behind, he was, uh, I, I think the best he got was like fourth place, but then he got uh, tenth place, then fifteenth. Uh, in the end, I think Magnus finished twelfth. Uh, um, so this is the game against Magnus and now uh, the game against Alireza that you guys uh, also requested a lot. So here in the tournament, uh, Hikaru played four games against Alireza. Three of them ended in a draw and this one, uh, well, perhaps it did not. So let's uh, let's check out this one. So Hikaru has the white pieces and he opens with e4. We have e5. Uh, knight to c3 going for the Vienna game, knight to f6 and g3. So a little bit uh, uh, different than what you would see in, uh, you know, longer time format. So it's not exactly the king's gambit, but it's also very, very uh, enjoyable. So c6, bishop to g2. And now Alireza, uh, very, very, very principled, uh, strikes in the center with d5. We have d3 defending the center and bishop to b4. Uh, pinning the knight, bishop to d2 and now d4. Chasing away the knight, knight c to e2 and now bishop captures queen captures and c5 uh, alireza grabs more space in the center and now uh, we have h3 by hikaru we have knight to c6 uh, and f4 now uh, ni nicely nicely played as you always play this f4 movie in a vienna at some point uh, we have castles and knight to f3 we have knight to d7 now preparing f6 and hikaru just castles we have f6 here uh, uh, setting up this uh, very strong control of the center and now alireza might start advancing the pawns on the queen side so c3 undermining the center now queen to e7 
we have captures on d4, c captures, and now even g4. Here, uh, Hikaru is preparing uh, this f5 push, but uh, uh, it, it doesn't seem to be uh, all that troublesome for, for Alireza. So here, a5, we have rook 8 to c1, and now even a4. Uh, trying to create some weaknesses on the queen side. We have knight to g3. And now Alireza should just continue uh, pushing on the on the queen side. Either, either capture on f4 or e the immediate queen to b4 or for a queen trade. But he goes for g6. And this kind of creates a weakness for Hikaru to hone in on. So f5. Uh, we have g5 and now h4. Hikaru now forces open the h file. Then he's going to play king to f2. And then, uh, well, hopefully double rooks on the h file. So here we have h6. H captures on g5. H captures on g5. And now king to f2. Uh, we have queen to b4 by Alireza now offering a queen trade, but now Hikaru of course declines. He prefers the queens on the board, he controls uh, much more space, so you do not want to trade down. Rook to f7, and now rook to h1. Now you're ready to play rook to h6, and hopefully double up on the h file. Knight to f8, and now rook to h6. We have bishop to d7, uh, ready to uh, bring the other rook into the game. Now knight to h5, putting uh, more pressure on this f6 pawn, so knight to h7 defending it and now Hikaru could bring the, the other rook to h1 and uh, well prepare uh, the, the attack but he goes for rook to g6 check first king to f8 and now king to g3 the king will be much safer here so there's no need to rush anything uh, we have king to e7 and now rook to c4 uh, further harassing the black queen uh, m making the queen lose um, uh, su such a valuable diagonal so queen to b5 uh, maybe the d3 pawn can be uh, pressured at some point as it is the base of this pawn chain so if you can eliminate one uh, then the entire pawn chain will will collapse so here are queen to c2 uh, rook to a5 and now we have queen to d2 again putting pressure on the rook if uh, the, the position opens up if maybe the knight and queen move uh, let's say you move the queen somewhere weird we can eliminate the knight and then pick up the rook so here he brings the rook back and now queen back to c2 and now knight to b4 attacking hikaru's queen queen back to d2 and now knight back to c6 so hikaru can't uh, seem to figure out how to uh, advance uh, uh, further in the position but now he does bishop to f1 now the pawn is nicely defended and you can make uh, progress here uh, alireza goes knight to f8 he attacks the rook uh, and now it seems like you have to move the rook but it's actually a completely winning position for hikaru uh, so feel free to pause the video and try to find the the quickest way to win this while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting uh, the idea. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, it is, of course, rook captures on f6. Uh, I mean, everything is winning here. You could capture with the knight, you could play rook to h6, but rook captures on f6 just makes, uh, makes sense. Uh, so here, uh, okay, you have to capture. There's really no better move. Now comes uh, knight captures uh, on f6, king captures, and of course, queen captures on g5. So you're down material, but you will start advancing those pawns, and it's not going to be easy for the black king to, to parry all of this. So queen to h6, king to e7, Alireza trying to escape. Now g5, we have queen captures on b2, and now g6. Uh, there is really nothing to do here. You have to give up uh, the knight for, for, for that pawn. Now Knight captures f captures and now bishop to e6 now at least you are guarding the queening square and you are putting pressure on the rook here so queen g7 check king to d6 and now even rook captures on c6 check not giving black any counterplay b captures on c6 and here queen captures on e5 again with check king to d7 and now hikaru has to continue queen g7 check uh, or, or queen f6 or something to, to continue playing this but he plays knight to g5 and he gives alireza uh, one small chance to get back into the game but it's bullet you can't see everything of course look at this diagonal uh queen to b8 just forces a queen trade and if uh, uh if alireza plays this then it's uh, pretty much over captures captures and now it's going to be white who will be fighting for a draw he's down the exchange okay he's up a pawn but still 
uh, it's not going to be easy. However, after knight g5, Alireza missed this, and if you miss this, there's really no no good move. This is hanging, and there's no way for you. Uh, to actually to actually defend this if you play queen captures on a2 uh, then again we just play queen to g7 check and then well the king has to go up the board uh, because if you go king d6 then e5 and then you're just going down the board and you, you will lose this terribly for example king d5 queen to e7 and now you are getting checkmated this is hanging this is being threatened the king can't go anywhere uh, so uh, really, really, really bad. Uh, but uh, like I said, queen to c1 was played here. Uh, and now it's again not much better. Queen captures an e6 with check, king to c7, and now queen to f7 check. We have king to b6, and now queen to f4. Offering a queen trade, you are uh, up, up material. So if the queens get traded off, then you have a bishop and knight against uh, the rook, and you have a very nice pass pawn on g6. So queen to e1 check, queen to f2, now comes queen back to c1, attacking the knight. So king g4, now comes rook to g8. We have queen captures on d4 with check. Uh, king to b7, now comes queen to f6. We have queen to d1 with check, king to g3, and now queen to e1 with check. And here we're just going to have a, a long series of checks uh, because, uh, well, if Alireza can't hold uh, hold on to the position here, then he Hikaru just wins. So king d2, uh, queen to d2 with check, king f3, queen d1 check. We have bishop to e2 blocking. And now finally uh, queen to h1 with check. King e3, queen to g1 check, king to d2, and now rook to b but now of course uh, Hikaru just advances the pawn g7 we have king to a7 and queen to f7 check now ready to uh, promote our pawn to a queen queen a6 and now first e d4 uh, opening up this discovery this comes with check king to b6 and now g8 with queen now Hikaru has two queens and that's pretty much it queen captures on d4 check bishop to d3 we have rook captures on g8 there's really nothing better captures we have queen to f2 check king to d1 and now queen to g1 with check king e2 we have queen g2 check now comes king e3 queen g3 check king d4 uh, queen to d6 check and king to c3 so a few more checks uh, before Alireza resigns uh, but uh, you know you, you you have to do this always uh, king to c2 queen to h2 with check king to d1 now comes queen g1 check king d2 queen to g2 check bishop to e2 and here queen to g1 was played but it was also in this position that alireza uh, resigned the game as there is nothing more uh, to be done here so very nicely done uh, uh, hikaru uh, beats both magnus and alireza and doesn't lose a single game to them and these are the standings um, uh, just so i don't forget so these are the top 10 uh, hikaru wins first place andrew tang wins second and drops on that's david paravian uh, russian grandmaster uh, wins third place then we have yako baby uh, that's Nodirbek Yakub Yakubov of Uzbekistan. Then Gepetto. Uh, I'm still not sure who Gepetto is. A lot of you guys were saying that's Nepo, uh, but it says on his profile that he's from Italy, so uh, I'm not really sure about that, although it could be him. Then Artemiev in sixth. Uh, then uh, Vatenelende. Uh, that's uh, Operwezen, if you remember him from Lee Chess. Um, uh, Vincent Rutaes. Uh, we, we made two videos uh, about him. Very, very strong international master, especially in, in uh, speed chess. Then Nine King. Uh, 96 uh, that's uh, alexander botrnik uh, also russian grandmaster uh, grandmaster watneg i don't know who that is i'm pretty sure i knew but uh, i mean i can't remember all of them and Mutpro, that's uh, international master Min Le from, from Vietnam. So there were many, many grandmasters in this uh, event. It was uh, very, very enjoyable. I enjoyed uh, streaming it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, we, we mostly covered the, the top uh, players, uh, but, uh, you know, pretty much everyone in the world streamed this event. So I'm sure you can find, um, you know, uh, your favorite players uh, on some of those streams, at least. And especially if you guys have, like, a really, really cool game that we can cover, uh, do suggest it, and I will cover I already have one of my favorites. I think, uh, yeah, Nodirbek uh, Yakubo uh, have played uh, a brilliant, brilliant attacking game in the Evans Gambit. So we're going to cover that one probably. Uh, but, you know, still deciding. You know, do use hashtag suggestion and we'll see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's the game. Uh, the games. I hope you guys enjoyed that and hope you guys enjoyed this event. A big congratulations to, to Hikaru for winning the entire thing. That's uh, that's no small feat. And, uh, yeah, a big, a big thanks to Cake D5 for, for sponsoring the event. Uh, really amazing stuff. Uh, it was supposed to be an end of the year event, but, uh, you know, as uh, the, the tournament broke down, it had to be shifted over to, to next year. Uh, but still, I uh, ho hope you guys enjoyed this Christmas arena. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, those were the games. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I would like to wish a very happy birthday to Anna, and I would like to thank Robert Stadelman, uh, Ryan Urban, Patreon, and Andrew Dinihan for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.